Sayyidina Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala who are done used to recount that there are three, three tragedies that took place inside of my life. Three tragic events inside of my life. He said the first is the death of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Sure. The first tragedy. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa when he enters Medina, Sayyidina Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala and said, Allah kulla shay. He illuminated everything. And on that day, Everything was dark. Dark and once again Sayyidina Ali said them, the city of light has become dark. Hmm? That's what Sayyidina Ali said. He said the second was the day that Sayyidina Uthman ibn Affan was killed. That was the second tragedy in my life. And then he asked him, Ya Abu Huraira, and what was the third? He said, my miswad. He said, my miswad. They said, your miswad? What is your miswad? And he said, my miswad was a container that the Prophet ﷺ gave me. And he said, in this container, the Prophet ﷺ told me, so long as you keep it upright, Abu Huraira, it will always give you risk, always give you provision. I mean, so what type of time is that? I mean, I don't like the term, but the time of prophecy, it's like, you know, for us, it's like we understand, it's magical, the time of prophecy. I mean, it's special, it's different. You see, it's metaphysical beyond the physics. And what a special time to be in. And how did Abu Huraira get that, radiallahu ta'ala? Is it not through the temperance of his desire? The placing of his desire beneath what? Nur al nubu beneath the light of intellect. That I used to roll around in the road to Sharif, between the house of Aisha and the member of the Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a person would come on to me and he would see me rolling around Abu Huraira would say and he would place his foot upon my neck Abu Huraira would say he thought I had gone mad lost control of my senses I ain't gone mad he said it was only hunger 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 that had placed me in that type of state what do we know about that? The society of opulence. She got here in front of the society of stuff. Look at the types of books that are coming out. Stuff. The society of waste. Look, read that book. Waste. That's the, that's us. That's a projection of us. Now the food that we're going to eat. What's going to happen to that food when we go home tonight? What? When we look at the place that we eat, what? Society was over gratification of the self. That's not the madrasa, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but that's not his madrasa. We shouldn't, I need bottom line. Yeah, I'm a pig, that's it, khalas. Sayyidina Abu Sayyidina Al-Ghazali says, radiallahu ta'ala, he said, no kushifat al-khata. He said, if the veil was lifted when we're in sujood, we would find ourselves prostrating to pigs and dogs. That's all we prostrate to. Dogs symbolic of anger. Pigs symbolic of the nafs. Gone wild. You see, opulence, over gratification, over gratification sexually, over gratification of the stomach and we're supposed to guarantee the two things. And these rijahal, this miswad that Sayyidina Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala, it's like a reward for being able to place his nafs on the jet. He had a miswad that he used to eat from. Any time he wants, can you imagine that? <laughs> Every time you can sit there chomping, that's, that's what prophecy gives you. Prophecy gives you that. If that's what he gives you in the material, what does he give you in the what, immaterial? <sighs> and Sayyidina Abu Huraira said, on the day that Sayyidina Ahmed ibn Uthman was killed, I went to my house and these bandits, briefcase bandits, these bandits had ransacked my house. He said, and what's the first thing he looks for? His miswad. And he said, then they took my miswad. That's what he was concerned about. And it wasn't the miswad. It was the nisbah. It was the connection that he had to Mustafa. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. 